Hello people, what is up? Welcome to the second video of PLR Powerhouse which discusses the PLR Products Funnel. We're going to be talking about in depth just what the PLR Product Funnel is, so let's go ahead and take a look. The PLR Product Funnel is pretty simply best put uh, through a graphical explanation, so instead of uh, saying a lot of words about what it is, I'm just going to show you how it's set up. It all starts when you drive traffic to a squeeze page for a free niche report. So essentially you want to find traffic in certain niches and then direct them to your squeeze page. So for example, if you were targeting the electric bill niche, if people had high electric bills that they were looking to get rid of and they needed help, they then came across a squeeze page in which you are offering a free report on how to slash your annual electric bill by more than 50%. As you can tell, a lot of people will be interested in that. It's free, it has great information, and who doesn't want to save 50% uh, or more on their uh, total utility bill? So as you can tell, a lot of people would give up their n name and their email, that opt in by submitting their name and their email, and then you'd be able to uh, reach their inboxes. So then that's how your list grows. As people uh, as more and more people opt in to your name and email, um, you start building a good list in that certain a certain niche. And when you have a lot of names and a lot of emails, you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of people to contact in that niche. Then it's time to monetize it. So as somebody comes in to the squeeze page, he gives his name and his email, he submits it, and he then uh, becomes part of your list. And once he's part of your list. Uh, pre-written autoresponder emails then arrive at that person's inbox. Uh, those autoresponder emails can be about a number of subjects. They can talk about uh, they can talk about giving more information, such as here are other ways that you can uh, slash your electric bill and save even more money. Or you can also talk about check out this cool product I found. It's uh, it costs just little and it's gonna really help you. Uh, cut you down your electric bill by up to 70 or 75 percent and those autoresponder emails can then take them to a sales page that you've created for that paid product that paid product that which which is going to help them save maybe even more money or pretty much become independent of electric bills altogether by generating their own electricity I'm just throwing out ideas here but you what I, but there are many many ways to monetize nieces such as this so on that sales page, you offer an even more valuable product than the free niche report. So this one actually costs some money to buy, but if you design a well-written sales page, people will uh, gladly part with their money just to get that free, that paid product. And as you can tell, we're not quite done with that free niche report yet. So as people downloaded and and opted into your list to get that free niche report. The free niche report also has methods of monetization as well. Uh, in that free niche report, you can include links to the sales page for the paid products. You can just say, here, check this quick link out in the middle of the report and have them go to the, as they click on that link in the ebook, they're taken to the sales page for the paid product. Or alternatively, you can uh, also say, here, check out this product that will save you even more money, which is basically an affiliate product, such as ones you'd find on ClickBank. For example, on ClickBank, you find uh, products that teach people how to make their own electricity and, uh, and pretty much generate electricity, sell it, and make money, and uh, not pay a dime to the electric bill companies. So in your free report for, of niche information, you can say, here, check this out if you want to, uh, if you don't want to pay anything at all. So as they go to that affiliate product, if they choose to buy it, you get money. And of course, that sales page for the paid product that you made, if your customers choose to buy it, again, you make money. So that's how the PLR product funnel works in a nutshell. In a sense, when this is set up, it runs on autopilot. All you have to do is focus on driving more and more traffic to it. The more traffic you drive, 
the more people that opt in, the more people that opt in, the more of them become buyers. And when you once you have a lot of buyers, you're just living the you're just living easy. All you have to do is just drive a bit of traffic every day, and more and more people will choose to purchase. So here's what we're going to be doing in this course. We're going to be rebranding a PLR course from the bottom up and making it into our own. In other words, we're going to buy a course with private label rights from somewhere else. We're going to change it up, put our own stamp on it, and give it a new title, perhaps add some new valuable information, and then make it our own unique product to sell to others, to sell to customers. What we're going to be doing is creating an ebook product to give away and we're going to be setting up an example sales page and squeeze page. Once we do set up that squeeze page and sales page, we're going to be driving some traffic to it and making money. We'll also be setting up an auto some autoresponder emails as well. So when people opt in to their squeeze page, they come in and they get uh, they get those emails, preset, pre-written emails in their inbox right away. So let's take a look at the product that we're going to be working with. Excuse my cluttered desktop for a moment. So the product is called PLR Video Profits. PLR Video Profits is something I picked up the other day, which it's a course on how to make money uh, by driving traffic to PLR videos. It's a very basic course in general. It's just meant to be used as an example. I'm going to show you how to take courses, similar courses such as these. We're going to be changing this page up, putting our own uh, unique identifiers and ebook on it as well. And then we're going to be able to we're going to be putting in a uh, we're going to be putting in an opt-in for people to come through, insert their name and their email, and of course you get the email. to capture those emails. So and this course is both a sales page and a squeeze page. So if, you, if you'd rather, for example, if you'd rather uh, just use a, the product as a squeeze page lead magnet, you can. If you want to set up a sales page to sell to people, you can do that too. So here's a sales page version of the same product. And here you notice it's going to be sold for $9.97. That's a preset price. So that's what the course looks like. It's basically a few autoresponder emails in there as well. We're going to be turning the autoresponder emails into an ebook and using that as a lead capture. So that's what we're going to be doing with that. Now, the next question that addresses how do you find products that you want to rebrand? Well, Sometimes if you're surfing the web and you stumble across an info product that's offering PLR, private label rights, you can simply choose to purchase it and you're good to go in that way. But if you want the fastest way to, to find good products to rebrand, you can check online vendors like MasterySaleRights.com, which is just a great, great tool. Let's show it to you right now. So here's MasterResaleRights.com, also known as the Resale Superstore. This site essentially sells lots and lots and lots of PLR products. These are all really great ones, and I mean these are excellent. This site is just amazing. Uh, you can buy products, PL, private label rights products here that come with sales letters, graphics, templates, autoresponder emails and videos, some ebooks, the works. You can just, uh, for example, see this product here. You could purchase it. It's called Getting Started with Stumble Upon. Uh, you can take it for 509, purchase it, repurpose it, and then create your own guy called Stumble Upon, uh, Stumble Upon Madness or something like that. Now, once you have created that uh, new Stumble Upon Madness e-course, you can just set up a sales letter, a squeeze page. You can start selling it, you can start uh, using it to uh, build a list, get some hungry buyers, and then monetize them. It's that easy. Next, when you do find your product that you'd like to rebrand, the next step is to pick a good product name. 
Well, what, what that means is you're going to have to pick an attractive and exciting name for your product. You're rebranding an old product and you want lots of interest in the new one. You, just, you don't want, just want to have people uh, take a look at this and remember, oh, I've already, brought this, I've already bought this before from another website. Why should I be excited to get it again? So you want something new and unique. The name that you choose also determines what people are going to expect from your product. For example, they might be looking for materials, a sales letter, a video file. They might be looking for a top to bottom video tutorial, or they might just be looking at uh, some sales letters, graphics, and an ebook. Whatever the case you do choose, whatever the name that you do select for your product, a .com domain extension needs to be available. Here are some other tips. The name has to be related to the product. You can't just, uh, for example, if it's a PLR course, you shouldn't just call it Instant Cash Magnet. You need to uh, let them know that it's PLR related. You should, uh, you should like put some words, uh, some unique keywords to the niche inside the product name. The product has to be, the name has to be easy to spell and remember as well. And it's got to be flashy. You want something that sticks in people's heads. So how do you pick the name? Well, here are some exciting product words that I put together in order to get some uh, get your minds flowing. These words are always, always received well by customers. And uh, so if you put some of them into your product name, it gives off the right vibe. Here, the words are cash, rapid, profits, fast, instant, money, crusher, blaster, explosion, domination. If you ever go to the Warrior Forum and check out the Warrior Special Offer subform, you'll notice that a lot of the products being sold there, known as WSOs, have uh, names such as these, keywords such as those in the names. So what you need to do is look at the existing product name of the product that you're buying and rebranding and think of ways to change it up. There are lots of buzzwords around certain niche markets, so try looking at previously sold products in order to get some to spark some attention and get some eyes looking at your new product. So, for example, if you uh, if you've seen a PLR niche product and you want to and you see it has a great name, try uh, brain looking at that and thinking of ways, thinking of a, such a similar name that you can also use as well. Another thing that you can do is brainstorm. Uh, take a look around, see what you can find, see other products that are similar to yours, and go from there. Once you do have a list of several names that you can try, check out if the .com is available. So what we're going to do right now is go to Instant Domain Search, which is one of my favorite sites, and see if PLR Video Payday is there. If it is, we're going to snatch it up. Some of the domain registrars that we like to, I like to use to purchase our GoDaddy.com and Namecheap.com. So this site is called InstantDomainSearch.com. What it does is you can type in any uh, URL idea and it'll tell you whether it's available. It's a lot faster than going to domain registrars and just typing it in, having them search and return the results. So the course name that I picked out for the new course we're going to make is called PLR Video Payday. As you can see, the .com, .net, and .org is available. So, success. So, let's go ahead and snatch it up. So, like we said, it's available. So now what I'm going to do is purchase this, and then once I'm done, I'll get back to you. All right, so I've gone ahead and snatched up PLR video at payday.com. That URL is now under my ownership. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is hosting. Once you do have a URL, you're going to need somewhere to host your website, of course. And if I'm operating under the assumption that many people watching this video already do have hosting, but for the folks who don't, let's go over where to get hosting, which is HostGator. 
let me just save you the time and effort in searching for the best hosts on the internet. It's HostGator. They have amazing customer service. It's seriously top of the line. And uh, they have a very inexpensive baby level plan, which is uh, a pl uh, all the storage you're going to need to host a few websites on the internet. So let's go ahead and take a look at HostGator and we'll see why it's so fascinating and so amazing. So here's HostGator. As you can see at the top right, they have live chat, which is basically customer support waiting to answer your questions. All you have to do is click on that window and you're taken to a one-on-one -on -one customer service representative chat in which you can voice your questions. They're extremely helpful, extremely patient, and they'll, uh, they'll do whatever it takes to get your problems fixed. So if you look at the web hosting plans here, this is what I was referring to for you new newbie internet marketers. It's called the baby plan. At six dollars and thirty-six cents per month, it will uh, give you all the hosting you're going to need to host a bunch of websites. So that's what I really recommend for you folks. Once you do purchase your hosting from HostGator, they're going to give you something called a, a few. Actually, they'll give you a few things. They'll send an email to your email account uh, detailing things that you're going to need which are one your cPanel login which is your control panel to basically your uh, host gator dashboard that's where you set up your websites and two they're going to give you name server URLs these name server URLs are important because you're going to have to go to domain registrars and upon purchase of your new w d URL such as I just bought PLR video payday.com you're going to need to insert the name servers in the dashboard there so that they can be rerouted to your hosting. You see when the name servers are connected that means uh, your domain registrar is connected to the hosting and that way people can actually see a website on your, uh, on your site when they type in the URL in the browser. So HostGator again should give you an email with a link to it with your username, your password, and cPanel URL in addition to name servers you're going to need to upload your site there after you finish creating it. You're also going to need to create a database as follows. So once you're looking at the interior of your HostGator control panel go ahead and scroll on down to the domain section so what I usually do is go into the add-on domains and then I add a new domain into things so payday.com uh, the public HTML document root is going to update as well give it a password add the domain give it a moment to update and you're all set now that you've added the add-on domain and now that you've uh, put your name servers in your domain registrar which you should have done you'll be all set on all in your rates to start building your website it's pretty basic and pretty simple Finally, let's go ahead and make sure the name servers are pointed at our hosting. So essentially, when you purchase uh, a domain, all you got to do in the GoDaddy dashboard is go to the name servers and make sure that they're edited. Uh, here's a, here is the icon right here to click on, and after that, you click to select and set name servers. Your name server should have come through your go. Uh, should have come through your HostGator email. And once you do have them in your possession, you need to hold on to them, put them somewhere so you can uh, make sure that you don't forget them. Then you insert them into whatever URL you purchase into the dashboard of that domain registrar, 
so that it automatically links to your hosting because otherwise usually domain registrars will put in their own name servers which is not what you want so to wrap up for the, this video make sure that you understood the PLR product funnel find a product that you want to market pick the product name and then get a domain hosting it's that simple alright we'll see you in the next video